Hello everyone, this is Omar. Welcome to the channel. Uh, this is the continuation of our RSCSA practice exam series and we are at question number 7. So the topic of the question number 7 is same as uh, question number 6 which is understanding and use of essential tools. So uh, the question asks you to find files owned by user Monica and redirect the output to this file. So it is basically not asking you to copy the files, it's asking you to list the file, list, find the files owned by Monica, the list of files and redirect the output to this one. Same thing it is asking for user Toby. But the third section, it is asking you to find the file larger than 100k under slash etc directory and copy them under this directory. So these two, uh, these two sections are actually asking you to find the files owned by these these two users and redirect the list of files owned by them into these files and this one it is asking you to call to find the files uh, greater than 100k under this one and copy them under this directory so always try to uh, understand the question carefully read the question carefully Sometimes the simplest question, uh, most of the candidate, they misunderstand and make a very silly mistake. So this is a, it's a very straightforward question and very simple solution. So there is a command which we already used before, find, but we are using it in a different way. So we, we will be using this command to find all the file under slash uh, owned by user Monica and we will be redirecting the output and writing it to this file so let's go ahead and do that and we have to perform this action on node 01 on as a rscsa 9 user so let's copy this command go to the node 01 right but before we execute that let's check if that file exists it does not so Let's clear this out and then copy the command. So what this command is doing, it is going and finding under slash for user Monica, all the files owned by user Monica and then we will be redirecting the output list to this one. So as you can see, T actually uh, displays the result on the screen as well. So let's check if it copied the same content in the file, yes it did. Alright, so this one is completed. So same action is to be performed for user Toby, but uh, the file name will be different. So we will be using very similar command, but you for user Toby and write into this file. Alright, so let's go and check where DMP Toby. So as you can see, all the list of files, and if you remember, we created additional files for user Toby. These are the sample text files, just to make sure that these files are owned by user Toby so that we can grab it later. So these files are also listed in this one. So the third section is basically asking you to find the files, find under etc minus type we are, type, we are uh, trying to find the files so minus type f and the size this flag is telling this command to find the size above plus 100k now uh, up until this point it is understood now what this one is doing it is executing it is giving this output of this command execute and it is copying for each file copied each file found more than 100 uh, okay, the, it will be copied under this directory. All right, so before we run that command, let's go and check if that directory exists. It does. There is anything? Nothing is there in the, this one, this directory. So let's copy this command and see if it works the way we intend it to work. All right, so it completed very quickly. We are already in that directory. So as you can see, the files copied. So these are all more than 100 KB files. 
right? These files are all over 100 kb. Because this shows the result in bytes. So these are more than greater than 100 kb files. So that's it for now. I have given you the find command reference document here. You can go and read about it. And thank you for watching. Have a good day.